Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Scorpion XO491 helmet. This helmet landed in the summer of 2022 to replace Scorpion's very popular XO490. And from the short time I've spent with this XO491, I think they've done a very good job of it. It's a plastic shelled sports touring and commuter helmet with an internal sun visor that passes the new ECE 2206 safety tests. And it costs £119.99 if you're happy with the plain colour or up to £149.99 if you want a graphic paint scheme a bit like this one. Adding together those last two bits of info means this is currently the cheapest full face helmet you can buy that meets the new safety standard. So let's run through what it does and what it doesn't have. Like I said, the shell on this helmet is plastic and this size medium helmet weighs in on our scales at 1658 grams, which is kind of what I expected to see from a lid like this. It's not particularly light, but it's not particularly heavy either. There's venting at the chin, which comes through the top of the chin bar when you slide this shutter down. On top, there are three sliders. The central one covers two inlet holes and then the two rocking switches here on either side also control airflow through an inlet each. That means four inlet holes that allow air down into the lid, which can then move through deep channels in the EPS protective liner and then escape through three outlet holes near this spoiler on the back of the lid. The visor on this is one that's used on a variety of different Scorpions already, so it's tried and tested and it works in a pretty neat way. From fully open, it's got one, two, three, four intermediate steps and then the fifth step shuts it, bringing the base plate back towards the lid for a good strong seal. This lever on the left side lets you either lock the visor down to stop the wind getting underneath and lifting it, or you can also lever the visor open slightly. If you lever that open, it gives you a slight opening to let some air in and clear mist off the inner surface of the visor. Now that function may well come in useful as the visor's pinlock ready, but it's not supplied with the insert. That costs £29.99 extra as we record this. So if you run this helmet without the pinlock, then the ability to get some air inside is probably gonna be crucial. So if you want that pinlock insert, that will bring the base price for a plain color of this helmet up to £149.98. There's a sun visor backing up the main one and it lowers and lifts on this rotating lever by your left ear. There's an anti-fog coating on that sun visor as well, as there is with most Scorpions, and I found that to be effective in the time that I wore this lid. So moving to the inside, the lining is fully removable and it's pretty standard for a helmet of this price. It's Scorpions Quick Wick Liner, so it's treated to be antibacterial, hypoallergenic, and also to wick moisture away from your skin. It's easy to remove it and replace it as well. There's no foam at the top of each cheek pad as well, which leaves room for spectacle arms to go in there without a crush. There are recesses inside the helmet for intercom speakers and they're big enough for 40 millimeter cardo speakers, which are usually the most problematic ones when it comes to fitting them in recesses. So I'd say most speakers will go inside those recesses with no drama at all. I fitted a cardo pack talk bowl to this helmet as a trial fit and everything went in okay, but it was quite a challenge to tuck away the excess cables as this helmet is actually pretty compact. I did a trial fit as well with the Senna 20S and that was a bit easier as there's not so much cabling to accommodate, but either way, I think finding somewhere to tuck away those cables will be the main challenge when putting an intercom on this helmet. The last bit with the interior, but it's important all the same, is the fastening strap. Like most helmets in this price category, it does up with a micrometric buckle. So let's move on to sizing and approvals. The XO491 comes in sizes from double extra small to double extra large, which covers a range from 51 centimeters up to 64 centimeters. There are three shell sizes as well, which is always a benefit. The smallest shell covers lid sizes up to and including small. The middle one is for helmet sizes, medium and large. And then the biggest shell covers helmets from XL and above. In terms of approvals, as I said earlier, this meets the latest ECE 2206 safety approval for use on the road. That's a stiffer series of tests than the outgoing 2205 standard. It subjects a helmet to more impact tests at a wider range of speeds, and also there's a greater proportion of the helmet that's potentially subject to testing. Now, I feel the better helmets that pass the old 2205 standard would still pass the new standard if they were put forward for it, but I think you can actually be more confident in the protective qualities of a helmet like this that meets the 2206 standard. It also has an ACU gold sticker, so you'll be happy to see that if you want to use this on track. It's not been rated by the UK government's sharp impact testing program as we record this, and on current form, it's going to be at least a year before we see a sharp rating for this helmet. 
Having worn this helmet on the road for a short time, I think it's a good addition to the Scorpion range. If you splash out for the pin lock insert, this becomes a decent helmet that does a really good all round job and be ideal for year round commuting for not a huge amount of money. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Scorpion XO491 helmet. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.